Today I'll be playing Rogue Stormers. Developed and released by Black Forest Games, Rogue Stormers throws players into randomly generated levels for some twin-stick platform shooter action. The game features seven missions where you'll be taking out enemies, collecting items, and exploring new labyrinths each time. Gold can be used to buy new items from the store or take your chance on the jackpots. Upgrades can increase your health, firepower, movement, and more. There's also souls you can collect that act as experience, which allow you to unlock perks for your character. The controls in Rogue Stormers are a bit busy. You move with the left stick and shoot with the right. You jump with the left trigger and fire your secondary with the right trigger. Activate your skill with L1 and boost with R1, which is good for dodging attacks and getting around. It takes a while to get comfortable with mostly the jumping, but it works. You'll want to pick up a secondary weapon as soon as possible, and you'll always be looking for health because taking damage hurts a lot. This leads to hit and run tactics, which can make progression feel a bit slow. It's more fun if you team up with a buddy, but they'll also have to be proficient and patient if you want to get far. And you need to unlock characters by getting further into the game. Once you run out of health, it's back to the beginning of the campaign. If you want to complete the game, I recommend pausing and quitting once your health gets low. This lets you restart the mission instead of starting from the beginning. Overall, Rogue Stormers is a nifty mix of 2D platforming and twin-stick shooting, with some adventure and RPG elements thrown in for good measure. Success is a bit dependent on which items you come across, so it can be a bit of a crapshoot. Speaking of which, there's a lot of crap shooting at you, and the bullets can be hard to see but it was the dynamic challenge that kept me engaged up until the final boss.